Well, hey guys, welcome back to Four Oaks Crafts on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, pallet boards. How many of you have made projects with uh, pallet boards? Well, I've made at least uh, two projects, and the wood is pretty unique, pretty cool. If you really like that, uh, you know, weathered look uh, in your projects, pallet wood is a great way to go. I mean, and it's free. You can get it uh, just about anywhere. Uh, there are some pros and cons uh, to using uh, pallet wood and sometimes it's uh, not very easy to use and not very easy to build with. So uh, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about that, the pros and the cons of using pallet wood. And also I'm going to show you some ways, some methods to uh, uh, disassemble pallets. So join with me and let's get started. Well, hello guys and welcome back to Four Oaks Crafts and today we're going to be talking about pallet boards, uh, the benefits and we're going to talk about some of the projects that you can uh, make with pallet boards, talk a little bit of, briefly about where you can find them and uh, most of the video is dedicated to how to disassemble them. So you might be asking first of all why pallet boards? I mean they are a little bit of a pain to get and disassemble but I don't know if you've noticed it right now, but the price of lumber is sky high. And, uh, you know, pallet wood is generally free. You do have to take go through the trouble of disassembling it and uh, processing it a little bit. But it's, it's free and it's good wood. Uh, another thing is it's a great way to recycle and reclaim lumber. You know, maybe it'll keep us from having to cut down a few more trees out there. And then thirdly, uh, it's weathered wood. And then what you want to use it for, uh, of course, is a lot of rustic type products. And uh, the wood is already weathered for you. You don't have to go through a, you know, a process of doing it yourself or buying uh, what they call weathered wood, you know, that's really expensive from your home improvement store. So where do you find uh, pallet wood or pallet boards? Uh, generally, they're not very hard to find. I mean, if you go behind most uh, grocery stores or department stores, you'll see piles or stacks of uh, pallet boards like you see in this picture. Uh, but I would, I would caution you, uh, don't just assume that those pallets are free. You know, make sure you check with the store owner and uh, make sure you got permission uh, to get those from the store owner. You know, another good source uh, would be your work, your own workplace. Uh, if you've got a warehouse or, or something like that where pallet where uh, products come in on pallets, uh, then you know, talk to somebody in your uh, company or department and see if you can get permission to uh, get pallet uh, boards there. Maybe even a friend. I had a uh, neighbor who uh, uh, was giving me pallet boards pretty uh, frequently. And the other thing I would uh, advise is to look for uh, clean pallets. Uh, I generally would probably stay away from, you know, pallets, say from a chemical company or something like that. Uh, I try to look for ones that are uh, heat treated and not uh, chemical treated. And usually they do have a stamp on there that will tell you how the boards were treated. So check it out and you will find uh, pallet boards all over the place just remember to you know get permission to get those okay let's briefly talk about some of the projects you can make and i will uh these are some of the projects that i've made and i'll leave uh links uh in the description field to the tutorials and the plans but what you see in the picture here is uh one of the first projects that I made is a mail organizer and a key holder and I made that for my daughter and her uh, college roommates. The next one you see in the photo is a, a dog dish stand that we made for my daughter's uh, beagle named Chevy and of course it's real easy to make and you can have one dish for food and one dish for uh, holding water. And the third project that was really fun to make is the bottle opener and real easy to make and you can make you can put these anywhere mount them on your wall or 
or uh, you know on your uh, your kitchen top or whatever you want to put them but just a really fun project to make again I'll leave uh, links and to the tutorials and plans in the description below all right now we're going to move into sort of the meat and potatoes of this video and that is uh, how do you disassemble uh, uh, pallets and uh, first I want to cover some of the safety gear that I like to wear of course gloves are, are very important uh, because you're handling uh, wood that likes to splinter easily and you can easily get uh, splinters uh, in your hand. Uh, the other thing of course would be safety glasses and then uh, some uh, hearing protection and of course it's always good to have a dust mask so just uh, keep these items in mind as you're uh, disassembling these boards. Hey, another thing to think about with these pallet boards is be careful lifting them. They can get kind of heavy. And in this uh, clip here, I'm showing you kind of a, an easy little trick that you can use uh, where you can just simply uh, walk the pallet board along. You don't have to really pick it up and, and uh, strain yourself. So be careful lifting these and handling them. Okay, so there's a few ways you can take these uh, pallets apart. A lot of times when you just try to pry these uh, ends apart here, you're going to end up uh, splitting the ends. Uh, now a lot of people like to preserve these ends because they like these uh, you know, nail holes. So there's one way we can do that. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of ways. We can pry these uh, ends up just a little bit to get a blade and use a, a saw called a sawzall. And we'll take the blade with the sawzall and come uh, between this gap and we'll just simply cut these nails using a uh, the right kind of blade will cut these nails off and that way you can cut you can disconnect these boards from the pallet here and preserve these nail holes now the other way if you don't really want to need to preserve the ends here I just drew a line all the way along here and we'll come back along along these lines with a a saber saw or you could use a handheld circular saw and then just simply cut and that's probably a little bit easier so first I'm going to show you just how to do this if you don't want to preserve those ends with the nail holes uh, I just use a uh, regular saber saw and uh, you could use a circular saw but I prefer to use the uh, saber saw and it, it does its job pretty easily so just follow the line there that you've got drawn and uh, it's pretty easy work. Okay what you see me doing here is just using a uh, simple chisel to pry up uh, the boards just a fraction of an inch so it's going to give me a little room to get my uh, saw blade in here and I'm going to be using uh, something called a sawzall which is like a heavy duty jigsaw if you will and I'm going to be using a blade that is specially made you know for metal so it can go through these nails pretty easily okay you can do one of two things uh, after you've sawn uh, through these nails uh, you can e actually leave the nails in place and some people just will also take a punch and punch the nails out Okay, once you cut the boards loose on the ends of the pallets, you still got that middle board uh, that you've got to contend with. So you've got to pry the the boards off of it. And I like to just grab a you know good size uh, crowbar, like the yellow one I'm, I'm using here. It's fairly long. It's going to give you some good leverage. It also has a flat, wide area on the claw section that can easily get up underneath those nails. And you just want to be gentle here. Uh, try to work the uh, crowbar uh, under there get under the nails and then pry the board off okay once you've got the boards off then I'm going to just take a hammer and gently tap out those nails in some cases you might have to use a punch uh, to punch out the nails uh, one thing that you, you do want to be careful and be thinking about is uh, you know where do you put the boards as you're taking all these apart. You definitely don't want to just leave it uh, on the floor with the nails sticking up to where you can turn around and 
step on a nail so just be careful there watch what you're doing think about what you're doing All right, I just wanted to show you another tool here that might come in useful when you're taking apart and working with uh, pallet boards and this is a handheld uh, metal detector uh, by Syntec and I got this a uh, friend of mine gave this to me uh, because I use it for my uh, metal detecting hobby and uh, this is used uh, once you located something in the ground with your metal detector uh, you use it to wave over the, the point and kind of get a little bit closer to what you're you're trying to find in the in the dirt or in the hole but also found another use for it and so you know, for pallet boards you're trying to locate nails metal so you don't cut into them with a, a saw it come in pretty handy so you can take it out here and use it on other places with the board and so hey just another uh, safe way to, to do this and not uh, get your saw caught up in any any metal or nails okay once I got my boards taken apart I like to just uh, look at them and kind of sort them out you know put the best ones that are straight and put those in a pile maybe go back with my little hand metal detector and mark the uh, places where nails are so that I don't cut into those areas but don't get too tied up in you know having perfect boards I mean these are going to be used for rustic projects so they don't have to be perfect so I wanted to share just a few challenges uh, with working with pallet boards and you can see in these photos uh, they are a very brittle wood and uh, you know they're they've been weathered they've been sitting out in the sun and so it's easy for them to crack this can happen when you're disassembling them it can happen when you're nailing nails in them so I would recommend you know drilling pilot holes for nails and screws and I've had pretty good uh, luck with uh, nail guns as well but you just got to be patient with them and realize that they do crack like this they also you know a lot of times they're warped and not straight like lumber that you would buy from the store so again just uh, be patient with them and i just want to end this uh, video on a safety note just reemphasize that uh, you need to be real careful with these boards as you run through a table saw or a miter saw and just be aware you know hopefully you've gotten all the metal out and all the nails out and I'd recommend looking at maybe getting a, a, a handheld metal detector just so you can kind of verify that there's no metal in the area that you're going to be cutting. Uh, because if you do hit some of these spots, you know, you could, you could run into some possible safety hazards, but you could also end up ruining your blade. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it and learned a little bit about pallet boards and some, some new things. Hey, uh, go to the comments field and let me know what you think about this. Uh, what do you like about pallet boards? Maybe share what kind of projects you built with them and what you don't like about them. Uh, if you got a minute, uh, go down to the corner there and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And thanks for watching.